Hey everyone, I'm Marcos, and I'll be the host for the EPL this season. Uh, last season we had Black Bear Tick hosting, but this season he'll be taking a different role. Uh, and I'll actually, I'll actually not be competing this year uh, because last, or not not, la not this year, uh, this season, because last season uh, we had some issues getting uploads on time on the EPL channel. Uh, and yeah, for that I'm not going to be competing and I'll just be taking a back seat, uh, running everything, making sure everything goes smoothly. So this would be fun for everyone. But yeah, uh, despite me not competing this year and this season, I keep saying year, despite me not competing this season and having some other people not return, we are actually having a larger roster this season with a longer season. So yeah, let's get into it. We had an application go out. If you missed it, I'm sorry, uh, but these are the people who made it in. Uh, not everyone who filled out the application made it in, but uh, anyone who did, if we have someone drop, you are definitely going to be a secondary. All right, let's get into this. First up, last season's champion, Jack the Battler, will be returning. Uh, he actually, funny story, he was visiting uh, some family, doing some family stuff. Uh, he, had a, he had a bit of an emergency uh, before the finals, and we weren't sure if we were, we were going to be able to do the entire final stream in one night. And he showed up on time because he had a bye round one for being in uh, first place, or second place, uh, after the regular season ended. So... When he showed up, he uh, beat he beat P. Flugmeister in the semis, and then beat uh, Jim in the finals, and didn't even realize that he won. It was kind of funny. I had to explain it to him afterwards. He's like, "Oh, oh, I won." <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's gonna be fun having Jack back. He's definitely a really, really competitive dude, and uh, someone to watch out for this season. All right, next up, we have two die four. Good friend of mine. Met him in uh, Texas for the first time when I went to Dallas Regionals, and uh, a buddy of Robert VGC. This guy, he's just gonna be honking. Look at that horn. The guys who sent in pictures, I, I, I memed a few of them. Uh, so, <laughs> Trey, of course, um, very competitive. From what I can tell, he prefers setting up for his playstyle. Like he, he really enjoys setup playstyle. He uses a lot of Kaferi, uh support so we can focus on protecting mons that need to um, take a turn or two to make sure they can knock out some things. But yeah, it's going to be fun having him around. He's really into memes, and uh, the EPL is all about that. All right, third. He does not have a picture. He didn't submit one on time. But we have Patrick, a.k.a. Black Bear Tick, big friend of the channel, and uh, old analysis, actually. Uh, he will be competing this year. I invited him personally because I, I wanted to see what he could do, and he was interested in it last season. Uh, so I figured I'd invite him. Uh, he's actually... Uh, kind of like me, where he likes using some off-meta mons. I know he's a big fan of, uh, uh, what's that Pokemon that gets Storm Drain that isn't Gastrodon and isn't Cradily? The, the Stupid Fish. Anyway, yeah, he likes the Stupid Fish, but yeah. Be sure to check him out. If you had a picture, you should have put it in. Screw you, Patrick. All right, next up, Jim and Mons. Once again, no picture, but this guy, great Pokemon player. Uh, he has a decent amount of CP this, uh, this season, actually. I think he's in like... 250s or something and he's an MPA competitor uh, he's someone to watch out for because he's a very very good at Mons and yeah next up Puffer VGC good friend of mine uh, has been following me in the channel for a bit and uh, he is part of the Pokemon group Mount Silver uh, I know those guys they're really cool a couple of my close friends I actually I met through there and uh, he is an avid VGC player who really enjoys using, once again, some off-meta Pokemon. But once again, once in a while, we'll fall to the standard and uh, perform very well with it. Number four, Snooze. Now, if you don't know, Snooze is a regional champion. Uh, his name is Preston Clark. He's a really cool dude, and he uh, performed relatively well last season. Uh, he... I, I really don't know what to say about this guy. He's super charismatic. I met him in Dallas once more. Uh, and yeah, like there isn't really much to say. I wish you would, uh, wish you would talk more in chat, Snooze. Screw you. Just kidding, we're all buddies here. All right, next up we have Andrew Davis, who, uh, despite having some cosmetic surgery done, as you can see, uh, he's now half centaur, or full centaur, I guess, half horse. Uh, he, uh, needed to get this cosmetic surgery because, you know, he can't really perform at his best if he isn't feeling like himself, but now that... Now that he had this cosmetic surgery done to make him half horse, uh, he'll, be, he'll be able to perform at his max potential and hopefully uh, bring it home this season. Next up, Josh Winnard. 
uh, another personal invite of mine. I have been following this guy's channel for a little bit, and he is actually an extremely talented Pokemon player. Uh, he recently reached first in the UK on the battle spot uh, using, I believe, Specs Thunderous Eye, which is really cool. The guy also looks like he listens to Megadeth on the regular. So, you know, how could I not invite this dude? Really cool guy. And let's get into the next one. 7th Gen Battle Spot, aka Lance. Uh, now, he didn't feel like sending a picture. He sent this instead. I'm like, all right, it's cool. He wants to keep his identity a little more, a little secret. Uh, but I actually collaborated with this guy uh, back when I was a smaller channel. And he is actually more of a Battle Spot singles player, but his, you know, talent in Pokemon goes all around. Uh, he's. I couldn't beat him for the life of me back when I was playing, um, back then when I was playing him, but yeah, I'm excited to see what he can do here. I've been meaning to make some more stuff with him, and hopefully this will be a nice place where he can shine. Next up, we have Mercury, who, uh, if you aren't familiar with him, he is known for Feramosa Tapu Lele stuff. He's an Australian VGC player. Uh, he made it to finals, he made it to the semifinals, actually, uh, in the playoffs, and... I, I don't know. He's really good. He he had a nearly perfect season last uh, last season, uh, and actually was in first place before we got the playoffs, uh, which got him the buy into semifinals. Uh, he unfortunately fell to uh, Jim, which was you know you know it happens. Jim's also a really talented player, uh, but I'm really excited to see more of Mercury this season. Next up, we have E Flugmeister, aka. Whale Lord, God Slayer, man, dude. Uh, fun fact about him, he's some kind of swimming champion. I don't know much about that, but yeah. Uh, this guy made it all the way to semifinals last season. Uh, he was running Whale Lord in the finals, which was... Or not Whale Lord, what am I saying? Wall Rain. He was running Wall Rain in the finals, uh, and it was probably one of my favorite matches I've ever seen. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, uh, be sure to <laughs> subscribe to the EPL channel because uh, the VOD of that stream is up. The Whale Lord fight versus Robert VGC was absolutely ridiculous. By the way, Robert VGC made it in. He didn't submit a picture. Robert's cool, uh, but he's in. He didn't submit a picture, and I forgot to cover him. But yeah, I'm excited to see more from P Flug this, this season. Th th that'll be a fun guy to watch. Next up, we have Pokey Strikes, talented VGC player and a YouTuber. Uh, right now, it seems he's trying to figure out why he can't exit the 1500s, uh, he, as you can see from that magnifying glass. Dude's also ripped. Like, check out his Twitter picture. That's ridiculous. Uh, this picture does not do him justice, but yeah. Cool dude. Can't wait to see more of him. Looks like he's into memes. Next up, we have Jim, the runner-up from last season. Uh, he is actually probably... I don't think I've ever beaten Jim, like in any game I've ever faced him in. Uh, what I know about Jim. Cool dude. And uh, talented of UGC. Honestly, not much I can say. He is like a big fan of Trick Room. Uh, I believe the like he was one of the people who uh, piloted Trick Room early on in the season. Uh, the build that uses Choice Scarf, Staraptor with uh, Mega Camera Up and Reed Nicholas. Uh, but I believe he was using uh, Aromatisse instead because that thing's bulky as hell, and the Pinch Berry only makes it even better. And finally, we have Sharp Dress Gaming. Uh, his achievements, he was voted best beard in the EPL last season, and I think he's coming close for best beard on YouTube. Awesome dude, awesome dude. Uh, I met him in Dallas once more. We had a pretty much a lot of people in the EPL went to Dallas. Uh, fun fact about him, he is a mailman, and he runs Kamoa way too often, so watch out for that. Actually ridiculous. So once again, the roster for this season will be Jack the Battler, 2 die 4 Black Bear Tick, Jim and Mons, Hover VGC, Robert VGC, Snooze VGC, Andrew Davis, Josh Winard, 7th Gen Battle Spot, Mercury, P Flogmeister, Pokey Strikes, Shut Up and Rock 8, and Shark Dress Gaming. Uh, if you guys want to keep up with the EPL, I will be doing weekly recaps on this channel, or I guess not on this channel, on the EPL channel, because I'll be I'll be giving this video for uh, other people in the EPL to post, uh, just as like a small announcement for them. But yeah, be sure to check out the EPL channel. Uh, my name is Moxie Boosted, and I'll be hosting it. And I'll see you guys around.